Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the 100,000 subscriber eclipse. Yes, thank you to everyone who subscribed. In celebration, we thought we would put the moon in front of the sun for a few minutes. Uh, so, hope, hope uh, you... We'll find out if, if it worked. We've asked. Yes. Um, <laughs> we, we've, we've come quite a long way for this, haven't we? In total, I have travelled 20 hours to this point in the middle of nowhere. Yes. Uh, well, uh, it's, it's safe to say we are somewhere in the middle of nowhere in the United States. Yes. But more than that, we won't say, and there is a bit of a challenge for you about that later. Now, it is August 2017. Yep. There is an eclipse going across from the top left of America to the bottom right of America, yes. basically. As I'm sure most people already know, but if you're watching this in the future... Or that's... from the other side of the world and yes. therefore don't care... Yep. <laughs> and we've, we've travelled here to hopefully see it. Because there aren't many... Over the UK, the weather's yeah. already, always bad. Yeah. I've never seen one before. Neither have I. There was one going across the UK in 1999. Mm. Um, and I was in York. Yep. It was just covering the bottom of the UK, I think. Yep. Uh, so the ideal place to watch it was Cornwall, I think. Yeah. I was in York. It was cloudy. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I saw that one uh, in... It was only a partial anyway, from where where, where I was. Uh, I was over in Cairns in Australia for an eclipse uh, a few years ago. Uh, I, I didn't travel to Australia for the eclipse, but I travelled to Australia then for the eclipse, if that makes sense. You had to go to, you were going to go At to Australia anyway. Go. Yeah. yeah, so that was... So why not go in as an eclipse? But I missed that eclipse by one kilometre because of cloud. The next beach over saw totality, we saw cloud. It went dark... You know, the, all, all the stuff around it happened, but we didn't see totality. And, I'll be honest, I was gutted. So this was the next, you know, excepting the one in the Faroe Islands a couple of years ago, this was the next easily accessible eclipse. And I say was, because at this point, for us, it's already happened. We had two cameras rolling of us yeah. watching it. We haven't filmed it for you. I've got a couple of yeah. clips on my phone. I haven't looked at my, my camera yet, yeah. which may or may not have worked. So I'll show you them. If you would like to see footage of an eclipse happening, look at the mass media because they yeah. tried hard and did it properly. Yeah. Like, no one. No, no one. It, we, everyone pointed their camera at it. We haven't bothered because what we have for you is a montage of us there and whether we saw it or not. Because let me tell you, the weather forecast, 50-50, all uh, the way through. You've been worrying. You, I can tell you have been smited, smote by the weather in the past because I you have, have been, been worrying about this weather for six months. <laughs> the forecast two days ago was clear. The forecast one day ago, one day ago was, was scattered clouds. The forecast this morning was 50-50. And by 50-50, it was alternating every five minutes that we looked at it as well. Yeah. It, so let's go to about 15 minutes before the eclipse. Oh, wow. So by this point at Cairns, um, stuff was already starting to go in front. Like we were already starting to lose it. I am just worried about those clouds. Look, at, just look around at the lighting. There's something weird. Yeah. It's direct overhead sun, but it's not bright enough. No, yes. that's, that's what it is. Yeah. So we're so instead of everything being lit and shadow, we're seeing all the reflections come it, in. It, it's because it's a lower level light, but with with short shadows. Yes. So we're seeing, yeah, more dynamic range. I guess. I guess. When we first got here, in yeah. fact, at nine o'clock this morning, when we opened yeah. the car door outside the supermarket yeah we went bloody hell that's yeah. hot now we're just standing here yep <laughs> come on come on come on oh what don't don't go ooh at me it's getting closer <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking at you I can't <laughs> see you now <laughs> me neither we're both doing the same <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Bloody hell! That was a big thing. What is that? I don't know. It sounds like I had a B-52 next to me. It looked like you had a B-52 <laughs> next to you. In fact, that is its name. It is B-52. <laughs> B-52. I get it. I get it. I get it. 
Oh wait, no, that is a plane. That actually is a plane. I don't know if I can see where it is though. I don't like that cloud. That one, you see that one cloud? I don't like it. That, that was a thing. I mean, I'm interested enough to look at it, but I don't want it anywhere near me. Yeah. <laughs> so what you can't see yeah. right now, we'll send you a photo, is that uh, every shadow in everything has got the, a curvy eclipse in it rather yeah. than just being a normal shadow. In well, if every hole. You okay? The crickets have gone quieter. Have they? I heard something go different over here. No. The We're breeze right? has picked up. And that is the sound of corn in a breeze, which yes. I've never heard before. We're <laughs> <laughs> We're in cornfield, don't go all signs on me. I'm really nervous. I'm genuinely really... Because I remember this. Really? I, no, not this, but I remember the, is there going to be cloud, isn't, isn't there going to be cloud? It was a gamble, it was a 50-50 roll of the dice, and, it, and last time I lost. And that cloud... But last time, the only time I've even tried to see an eclipse properly, yeah. it was a gamble. Will there be cloud? Won't there be cloud? And yeah. there was cloud the yeah. entire time. Yeah. I didn't. I, I saw that, but... one tiny slice at the very beginning through yeah. a bit of cloud, and that was it. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I have seen it from, from first contact yeah. all the way through to most of the way through. Yeah. We have seen an eclipse. <laughs> We're not necessarily going to see totality. We, we yeah. don't know. <laughs> We've got five minutes, though, that's I think. The big, that's the big bit. That's the big bit. Ten. Ten minutes. No matter what happens, it'll still go dark. The weird stuff will happen. I, uh, I've been there with cloud. It's... I am sweating like a man about to make an inappropriate simile. I'm sweating sunblock as well. Whoa, not, not. whoa, look, look at the colour temperature of the light. Oh. <laughs> it's gone orange, hasn't it? It's gone something. I thought bluer. It's are changed. we? Are these? Are we experiencing placebo effects? Yeah, Tom? probably. Now, no, because it's definitely weird. Because we've got overhead direct shadows, but they're not. What? The, what is that? Is that a caterpillar? Whoa! Oh, hang on, hang on. I got, I got it. 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 What are you? It is. It's a big old caterpillar. I've never seen something, like, I've never seen a proper big fuzzy thing. That is so close. Oh, wow. Oh, come on, please. Please, 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 please. Clouds, stay away. I know what this looks like. What? Um, in mostly old films, when you can't film at night because camera lenses, you, you put film, a blue filter over it in the day daytime. For night. Day for night. This looks like day for night. It does. It look, in fact, if you tint this a bit more blue, it's that sequence from Mad Max. It's a night sequence from Mad Max. Yes, this reminds me of some day for night shooting I did about 10 years ago. Oh, that is so close. Come on. Words you may have said in a bedroom. So we've seen first contact, we see yes. it do the slidey thing. The next yes. thing is Bill Bailey's balls or whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, Bailey's beads! Oh, that's close, that was close. <laughs> and there's all sorts of complicated things that other science channels have been talking about, but I don't care, I'm getting to see an eclipse. So that's if we watch I... this at the exact moment it goes across, it starts to look lumpy, right? Yeah, because it's the no. sun shining through the craters of the moon. Oh, sh Yes. That's why. What you're seeing is the craters of the moon Right, okay. Yeah. This is so weird. I can see the light on ooh, top of the ooh. tower in the distance. That, that it was, it's been flashing all this time, but now it's oh, like yeah. night time. Uh, another quick look, we've been looking away for too long. Okay, it still looks the same. It doesn't, it's so close. Oh, Just look. oh it's lumpy, it's lumpy. Look around, quickly, look around. Huh? Sunset. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Look up! Here we go. That's it! Lumpy, almost gone, almost gone. That's the diamond! Gone, I can't see the sun. Yes! Yes! Does that mean we can look at it with yes! our eyes? Yes! 
Yes, Whoa! You can. yes. That is f***ing awesome. Yes! Look around! Look at that! Yes! <laughs> I'm pointing that way because that's where the sun is. Yeah. <laughs> we saw an eclipse. I um I mean you know me, I can't act. Um that was that was me. That was um I can tell you're excited because you were wittering through it. It's been years. <laughs> it's genuinely I thought I was about to get defeated by clouds again. <laughs> I really did. Looking at all the forecasting at all that, I thought it was gonna happen again. And then it didn't. Um well, I'm very happy for you. This, I don't mean that as sarcastically as it sounds coming from me. Yeah. Because you seem to have pinned so much hope on it, whereas I'm just happy to have seen anything. Yes. Having never seen one properly before. I, even, yeah. I'm, even um, just seeing the first bit, Yeah. that was good, because I've seen the moon go in front of the sun. Then yeah. I saw it half the way, then I have seen an eclipse. Yeah. Like, I don't have to have seen totality to have seen an eclipse. Yeah. Agreed. And then, and then I saw totality, which yeah. I have never done. Completely agreed, except... I'd done all that once, and then I'd missed that last moment. And it was going to be gutting to do that again. So, yes, happy. <laughs> which, which just leaves one loose thread from earlier. Well, firstly... Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, he's a very lucky boy, because... We both, we both bought Eclipse glasses. Um, we, he, bo we both bought multiple pairs. Without talking to each other, we both happened to have bought Eclipse glasses. He left his at home. Because both of us figured that one of us would leave the Eclipse glasses at home, and it was so me. So we both bought two. US, US UK transatlantic logo there, I don't know if you can see because that. Because they were the ones easily available on the internet yeah. that didn't look like they were lying about their safety. Yeah. So, last thing. We have, uh, we have a challenge for you. <laughs> um, there are enough clues in this video, I think, to work out the current latitude and longitude of this car. And we'll have tweeted some photos yep. on the day, be some, or maybe be some, some Instagrams. But there's enough from all the things in this video, I think, that you could at least make a, make a decent guess as to where we are. So, I am taking a GPS reading, as, as precise as I can from here. From, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a, me making a GPS reading with my phone, that suggestion. <laughs> um, that, that I'm taking as truth. And there is a Google Doc, a uh, Google Form which uh, is linked in the description, will probably be on screen, everything like that. Um, if you, if you put, your, put, put your guess in there as, as a decimal latitude and longitude, uh, and whoever is closest uh, gets a prize. Um, you remember last week, Matt, that I removed a joke from the episode in the edit? Oh, yes, I can't remember. I was watching it thinking, I can't remember that joke, so it must have been awful. It, it, well, uh, no, let me tell you, it's underwhelming. It's a really, really bad yeah. joke. Someone set up a petition for me to release the joke. Which, given that the last video, like a video a couple of times ago on my own channel, was, please don't email or bother me. I'm really busy and stressed at the minute. Not a great thing to do there, folks. But, particularly not to then, multiple people to then email me the link to the petition. Not helpful. But, whoever gets closest, by, by you know, to, to the truth of, of here, in terms of, like, distance away, uh, I will email you the truth about the joke that was removed. What, you send them the video clip? No, I'm just, just to send them the joke. I'll send them the joke? Yeah, it's a really crap joke. You'll, you'll be really underwhelmed by it. But, you know, if you, want, uh, if you want to shout out in the video, there'll be a tick box for not being anonymous as well, and we'll, we'll let you know uh, in a couple of weeks who's won. And, yeah, it, it, it's not, not a very good prize, but hey, if you like <laughs> guessing not, games, then... It's not a very good competition, so... <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to put loads of work in for very little reward? <laughs> then feel free. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to turn the aircon back we on. Saw an eclipse. on the break. We saw an eclipse. <laughs> Give me a high five. Come on, you aircon. <laughs> Here's a clue. Where we are right now, it's 33 degrees. Oh, oh yes. There we go. Here it comes. Do, do you mind? That sounds, that sounds dodgy. Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Tom. And this is the 100,000 scruts of that. Try it again. <laughs>